Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a from start to finish sock video. Um, we should have a little prettier for you to look at, but that is just how I work. So right now I am taking every other needle out um, to make to start the river. And the rib is the top of the sock. So right here, um, I'm doing a one by one rib. This is the ankle portion right at the top. So I am taking out every other needle to prepare for the river. And this is a 60 cylinder and every other needle is now taken out. So I am going to load my waste yarn. So after loading the yarn through the yarn mast and down through the yarn carrier, I pull out about three yards um, to have enough for the cast on basket, which is this tool right here. So after looping the waste yarn back and forth um, between the um, cast on basket and the cylinder needles, you need to add some weight to add that tension um, to the knitting so it doesn't jump off the needles. So then I just crank a few rounds of the waste yarn and I'm actually going to cut off the waste yarn and add some um, thin crochet cotton and this provides like a nice um, tight top to the sock. So after loading the project yarn, I crank about a half a rotation um, before placing in my river dial. Now when I set it in, I want to make sure that this pin right here um, is butted up against the this mark inside and that sets the um, river in place so it doesn't move. Now it's time to set the river needles into place and they go all the way around the dial in the slots between the um, cylinder needles. And I'm just catching the bar of yarn that is going across and loading in each needle.
So after loading all the river needles, I crank real slow, making sure that all the needles are opening and catching the yarn. And then once I know that everything is going smoothly, I speed it up a little bit. Now it's time to remove the river needles and replace them with the cylinder needle in the empty spot. And so I am just um, taking that loop of knit and transferring it onto the cylinder needle. I don't know what happened you guys, but the best part is lifting off that rubber dial and seeing the um, knit below that you had just made. So now I'm cranking the ankle portion of the sock, which is usually about 60 um, rows. And then it's time for the heel. So I lift half the needles out of place or out of work. And I am basically cranking back and forth um, to make that heel pocket. And I like to wrap um, the first stitch around the needle because that kind of closes the hole that you sometimes see right at the um, corner of the heel. And I go back and forth lifting one needle at a time um, until I hit uh, my markers. And then it is time to um, increase the knit. Um, but first I need to add some heel weights and that provides even more tension on the front. So once I get to the point where I've increased my stitches, I um, it's time to lower those needles back into work. And I just check to make sure all the little needle latches are open because you definitely don't want one of those closed or else you'll drop a stitch. Um, and once I lower those back down, I go real slow the first time um, back around to make sure everything catches. And then it is time to knit the foot portion of the sock. So generally for like a woman size 9 on this cylinder, I'm cranking about 50 rows, give or take, um, depending on the tightness of my tension. up to the end of my rows and now it is time to make the toe so pretty much the same applies as making the heel I'm going back and forth um, down to my markers and then um, increasing the heel weight tension So now it is time to knit off the machine. I simply cut the project yarn and pull it through to the center. And then I'm going to take a scrap of waste yarn 
and load that through the machine. So now it's as simple as knitting a few rows of the waist yarn, probably 10 or so, and then either cutting the waist yarn off or just letting it knit off by itself. And you just kind of catch the sock below after you've um, made sure you've taken off the weights. And here is the completed sock right off the machine. So there's that waist yarn. There is our top one by one rib cuff and heel. And here's the complete pair. I had made one earlier, but all that we need to do now is Kitchener stitch these toes closed um, and remove the waist yarn from the top cuff. But there is our nice one by one rib um, and heel and ankle portion. And I think they turned out pretty good. All for under probably under an hour and a half to do both of these. Thanks for watching.